What's up everyone, Mike here, down in the Mushroom Lab, and I got a great video for you guys today. So today is November 16th, and it is actually Terrence McKenna's birthday, for those of you who don't know. And uh, for those of you who didn't know uh, who Terrence McKenna is, he's actually a famous ethnobotanist that grew up in the valley uh, over here nearby this little town called Paonia, okay? And I live right over here. And there's a lot of little farms, ranches, orchards uh, in this area. Peony is like a cool little hippie town. It's totally like a town you would imagine Terrence came from. So um, anyway, I wanted to do something special today for Terrence's birthday. So here's what I did. I went over to that valley where Terrence was born in Peonia and I picked up some honey, okay? So got some honey and we are gonna make some liquid culture for growing mushrooms because, you know, figured Terrence would appreciate uh, someone doing that. And not only are we gonna make some liquid culture, but we're gonna supercharge it with a special ingredient right here because Terrence was definitely an advocate of blasting off. So we are gonna make sure that our mycelium blasts off to its maximum potential in this liquid culture that we're making today. So this ingredient right, that I got right here is called soya peptone. And I'm gonna talk about how much of this we're gonna use and the honey we're gonna to use to make this liquid culture recipe today. So we're gonna do this, like I said, in honor of Terrence McKenna for his birthday. And you guys can try this recipe out yourself to grow some mushrooms because it's going to be a really cool recipe. You guys ready? Let's get it. All right, everyone. So we're just going to take a quick look at some of these ingredients that I got right here that we're going to use in this LC recipe today. So this is our soya peptone. This is what is going to increase our nitrogen and really make that mycelium blast off. So this is the secret ingredient in our recipe today. And we are only going to be adding one to two grams per 1,000 milliliters of water in this LC recipe. Now this is the honey, okay? So this is going to be another ingredient in our recipe. We will be using 40 grams of this local honey from Paonia today. So here we go, we got the 40 grams of honey right there and I put two grams of that soya peptone in that other mason jar right there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 1,000 milliliters of water. We're gonna put that in the blender. That'll be the first step. And now what I'm doing is I got that soya peptone. There it is right there. We are gonna get ready to add that jar of the soya peptone to the blender. So here we go, two grams of soya peptone. Already got it weighed out. Adding it to the blender. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our honey. There's the honey. I got 40 grams of that honey weighed out right there. I'm just gonna scoop it out of there. We're gonna add that to our blender. All right, now we're gonna put the lid on it and it is time to blend. We're gonna blend that solution up. And after we blend it up, we're going to add it to our jars right here. So I've got two one-quart mason jars, and we're just going to evenly distribute that solution amongst the two jars. And now we're going to add in a magnetic stir bar inside each jar. So do not forget to add in your magnetic stir bar. So there it is, the magnetic stir bar. And I'm just going to plop one inside each jar. That is going to spin our solution for us after it is sterilized to mix up the mycelium. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put our lid on the jar that we made. So here's one of the lids that I've made. And I have put a link in the description box below in case you guys want to make your own liquid culture jar lid. I've got a nice little video on how you can make a nice, simple, low-tech liquid culture jar lid. So there's the next one. I'm going to put that on the jar right there. And then after we do that, we are going to load our jars in the pressure cooker. And we're going to fill it up with enough water so that we can sterilize our jars for 30 minutes at 15 PSI. So there we go. We got the jars loaded in our pressure cooker. And now we're going to sterilize them. Got those jars in there. They are sterilizing 30 minutes at 15 PSI. Now the next step is we want to let that liquid culture cool to room temperature. And then we can inoculate it with our favorite starter culture or agar culture or tissue biopsy. So here we go, inoculating that culture. All right, everyone, so that was my little Terrence McKenna tribute I wanted to give you uh, today, a little liquid culture honey recipe and a way to supercharge it. So you can incorporate that soya peptone into all sorts of different um, LC recipes, usually for like a thousand milliliters of water, one to two grams is recommended in the solution. So give it a shot in some different liquid culture recipes. We'll be trying it on this channel in a few different recipes. I'll just share uh, with you guys the results of that. I will share with you guys the results of this um, Terrence McKenna liquid culture honey recipe I came up with today. So give me a little bit of time here. Let this mycelium uh, blast off right there in that jar and then I'll put it on some grain and then uh, we will propagate it and grow some mushrooms. So I will share with you uh, how that mycelium looks like blasting off on that grain and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys all found this video fun, helpful, informative. If you did, please drop this video a like. 
subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, also, if you guys are unaware of Terrence, give him a little Google, um, you know, check out some of the things he was into. He had some really cool little wild, gnarly ideas. He was definitely an outside-the-box thinker, so um, if you just look into some of his theories and ideas, um, you might be mind-blown, impressed, and uh, it just might make you think a little more on different things like that. But that's all I got for you on this one today, guys, and I will catch you on the next one.